This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. It's awesome being able to run over there, have all your fans surround you and um, lift up that rock. Um, you know, it, it's an unbelievable feeling. On Saturday, North Dakota State will square off against South Dakota State for the 101st time. In all the meetings in this rivalry, one thing that has never changed is the physicality. A lot of hard hits. One of the most intense. <laughs> Just, uh, this is a powerful game right here. For Bison seniors, they have won every marker game they've played in, a streak they want to continue this season. I mean, I'd say it's really important just to end on a good note there, just winning the rivalry. It's something you definitely don't want to see the other team doing, running across, you know, especially at home. How do you stop Zenner? That is a question North Dakota State will need to answer if they want to have success against the Jackrabbits. Unbelievable back. He's, you know, most best one in this this league scene right now. You see on film, he makes he makes guys pay for uh, when they jump out of a gap or a not gap sound stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously he's a great player and he's going to get his yards. Senior Zach Zinner ranks first in Missouri Valley Conference history in rushing yards, but he has not seen much success versus North Dakota State. In four games versus the Bison, he's only averaging 32 yards per game. Uh, he could bust one at any time. So what what is happened in the past has happened in the past and we've got to find a, a way to have a great plan again. Not something we talk about because we know um, just as easily if we come out and play poorly he, you know he's going to tear us apart as well. While the Jackrabbits will have their senior running back they might be without senior quarterback Austin Sumner. Sumner has missed every game but the first of the season. The backup is transfer Zach Lujan who is five and two in Sumner's absence. He just adds a little bit more of an element of being able to uh, to run the football if things break down, and that's where I think he's done a tremendous job. The Jackrabbits defense has a very dangerous secondary. South Dakota State is tied for first in the Missouri Valley Conference with nine interceptions on the season. Another challenge for the Bison is the familiarity the Jackrabbits have with North Dakota State's offense. You know, they know us so well because they've been playing us for so long. You know, They're really tough, and their coaches know our coaches really well. The stat to watch is time of possession. Both the Bison and Jackrabbits are the top two FCS teams when it comes to keeping the football. I think it's big. Uh, it's something that um, we as defenders love here at NDSU is the fact that our, our offense grinds the ball and lets us, um, lets us rest on the sidelines. So I think, um, you know, hopefully we can hold the ball. Hopefully we can wear them out. South Dakota State will look to defeat the number one team in the nation for the second time in school history, the first coming against North Dakota State in 2007. Kickoff is scheduled for 2.30 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota and ESPN Game Plan. For GoBison.com, I'm Britt Rory.